so good morning friend in previous lecture we study the screen then uh, what is the main object of screen then uh, types of screen then uh, problem on screen then uh, disposal of screen actual flow diagram of the sewage treatment plant then what is meant by aeration then what is meant by grid chamber sorry what is meant by disposal of different method of screen so today we can uh, study about grid chamber so our next session is a grid chamber so what is meant by grid chamber so what is the um, main object of the grid chamber the main object of grid chamber or the function of grid chamber is the function of grid chamber is to remove inorganic substance like grit sand and other suspended materials the velocity of flow in the grid chamber is kept low so detention period is available for the settlement of the above substance so uh, it means uh, the main object of grid chamber is uh, to remove uh, the grit then sand at the bottom of the tank and the specified detention time is provided the detention time is uh, taken up in grid chamber is a uh, one minute uh, and near is equal to 60 second so these are the uh, size especially gravity is a 2.4 to 2.65 then provide the protection moving mechanical equipment for absorption then type of grid chamber horizontal flow type of grid chamber and aerated grid chamber then horizontal grid chamber are designed to maintain the velocity close to the 0.3 meter per second the length of the grid channel is 10 to 18 meter then depth of liquid 1 to 1.3 meter then this is a diagram of the grid chamber this is a plan and section of your grid chamber so cleaning of grid chamber um, cleaning of the grid chamber is a first hand cleaning then hydraulic cleaning then mechanical cleaning so this is a diagram of the your grid chamber the particular satellite settle at the bottom of the tank so this is the actual diagram in a sewer treatment plant okay so this is a actual working diagram of the your grid chamber so look at this the wastewater is a uh, pass through the screen the wastewater passes through screen and uh, discharge through the your grid chamber. So this is a parabolic type of the grid chamber. The grid and sand are settled at the bottom of the your tank. The detention period is provided is a uh, sixty second. So working of the grid chamber is uh, the sewage from the screen chamber is allowed to enter the grid chamber the sewage is allowed to enter the uh, in grid chamber and flow at the low velocity 20 centimeter to 30 centimeter per second and due to the low velocity the grid sand are settled down the bottom of the grid chamber so due to the low velocity a detention time is provided there that's why the seed sand are settled down the bottom of the grid chamber and then um, this wastewater is a uh, pass through the next treatment unit that is a uh, your primary sedimentation tank or your uh, skimming tank so this is a actual um, sewage treatment plant the capacity of this treatment uh, plant is a 36 mld so th these are the two to five unit of the grid chamber are provided Look at this. So the cleaning of the grid chamber. At the time of cleaning, the deposited grit are ejected by the ejector and uh, muddy water comes out through the removal pipe. And the grit may be clear from the top by manual labor, which is help of the bucket and the disposal of uh, grit the grit are generally dumped in low lying area for the reclamation of the land so this is a 
great removal of the wastewater treatment plant. Oh, okay, okay. So look at it. The, the water is passes through. So this is the wastewater are coming from the screening. And the wastewater is for discharge through the grid chamber simultaneously and the grid and side are removed then the wastewater is discharged through the next treatment unit that is our sedimentation tank okay so design part will be continue with you